Welcome back, everyone. This is Stevio, and we are back in Minnesota. Back being a millennial. So you guys might notice. Yeah, we ended up getting the 86 Ford here, crew cab, and it's primarily because this is one bad looking Ford. Not just the paint job here, it, and it's got a red cherry interior, but yeah. It does need a new paint job. Probably needs a little uh, engine tune-up. But right now, man, that thing is uh, firing at all cylinders. You guys might be wondering, why do you have a gooseneck trailer hitched? Like normal millennials, we kind of neglected our uh, cows lately. And uh, I kind of found a deal. It was the local auction is selling this off. And they've got a feeder. I believe. Make sure I make this turn without uh, scraping any more paint off of this rig. Oh, I see it already. Mm, yep. Got a sassy massy up here. You can see it. Okay, yeah. This is going to be. Alright, so we need to haul this to the farm. Oh, look at that. That, uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I might have uh, problems getting this uh, trailer out here. But you see that Vermeer uh, bale shredder there? Yep, spent a lot of time with one of them. You can tell that one's kind of got a lot of hours on it. Am I going to make this turn here? Uh, yep. Uh, barely. So now we just need to uh, get the chains out, and uh, hopefully this thing will fit. I'm a little bit worried it might not. All right, we got the extensions, we got everything out. Now we just need to see. So it's a hay buster, 2660, and this thing will shred the bales. It'll shred the twine, wrap whatever you want, put it all in there. Probably not the best for the cattle stomach and shoot it out to the side. You can use this for bedding, you can use it for uh, uh, shredding up the bales to make it easier. Because if you know cattle, if you just feed them straight bales, they will just pull chunks out like this. Pull chunks out, eat a little bit, stop it into their uh, poo, mud, whatever you want to call it, and then it's wasted hay. This helps with uh, getting a little bit more hay. Got this beast of a masty. 2745. We might be able to use this for some tillage operations too. Okay. Drive this up the trailer here. Get this nice. Okay. Like the extensions. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're definitely going to put a lot of weight on that old one ton. It's going to be front loaded there. Good thing we got a dually. Alright, it's strapped down. I know. That's what she said. Alright. Make sure we uh, don't hit the wide. We are extremely wide, so we don't want to hit them duels there. Don't want to. So, uh, we're going to use this to help feed the hay. Start help shred our bales. Uh, it's a nice quick way to uh, feed your cattle, let's just say that. Chop up the hay, feed it, you can put it into swaths, you can do whatever you need. Uh, we are still got corn in the fields here. We're still not done with corn harvest. It's a little bit too wet to be harvesting right now, so uh, we're doing odds and ends, and I have neglected the cattle. Like a normal millennial, I've been neglecting the cattle, so obviously I still feed them every day. Otherwise, I wouldn't even have to worry about feeding because they wouldn't be there. We need to do some serious pin work, scoop some manure out of the pen. We got a lot of stuff to do today. We're definitely putting the 86 through its paces, overloading the trailer like this, so uh, probably better not screw around and definitely unload it right away. There we go. So we only have a few bales over here in our pan. We need to get out of here. Well, 
Watch out, Buck. Watch out. Okay, uh, unfold this, I guess, here. Go nice down there. Go unfold the shredder. That is good there. Now we just need to. Uh, oh, yeah. I ended up purchasing a field boss here. Yep, I've been purchasing a lot of stuff. I, I wheel and deal. Get a lot of equipment, purchase, sell them, whatever I can get. Uh, I think this will be. It does have a GPS on it. Might be able to use it as a planting tractor. Might. That planter over there might be a little bit much for it. Start this girl up. Let the hydraulics. It is a straight pipe. Can you believe that? Yeah, this this thing screams here. So uh, we need to. I think I'm gonna do it the easy way. That is a self-loading shredder, so you can use it. All you have to do is back it up to the bale. Push this in here. You can tell. My uh, bale, uh, my bale storage here is, uh, yeah, we're, we're hurting here. We don't have much. We ended up picking up a uh, few uh, yearlings and uh, we've been, uh, definitely uh, been taking up all of our feed. So we'll probably have to purchase some feed here pretty soon. Can't reach up there. Okay, yeah, we're just going to have to set this down right here. go. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to flop that in, move that thing up just like so, and it should drop in. Huh. I guess it's going to drop in like that then. I was able to just kick it over. That's some uh, human horsepower there. Yeah, what do we got? We are down to just a few more bales here. Got the center pull in my way here, so it might be kind of difficult getting this bale. Stepped it too early there. I know, that's what she said again. Alright. Go. Watch out. Oh, almost lost the bale there. Probably would be easier just to back this uh, old hay buster up into that barn. Right, got that bale, so now we just need to take it over to the feed trough. Buck, what are you doing in the cattle pen? Leave him alone. Leave him alone, Buck. Oh, man. We got the whole team here, huh? So, uh, we got a big pile of manure here. Uh, we, we, the only thing bad about it, you probably can't uh, flip up the bales. You can't really feed into a trough like this just because it comes up. It's in the chute here is what a few foot wide or a couple feet off of the ground only so it's made to feed into on the ground completely or into a trough or it's just shred bedding one of the two and start shooting down there yeah I probably need to divert that a little bit more to the side uh oh feeding into the side there. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. I put it too close. I went too close. There we go, mamas. Uh-oh. Got plenty of hay there. I made a mess. Oh, man. Made a mess. I know. That's what she said. We better uh, shut that off before we make too much of a mess. Holy cow. Cow could uh, live under that hay stack there. Uh, you got some feed here. Just a little bit. Yep, don't step on it. Ooh. Alright, too bad we don't have no straw bales, so we can, uh, put some straw. Am I gonna miss that corner? Yep, just barely. Alright, park this under the overhang here so the hay doesn't spoil. And then we need to go hook up the veneur spreader. Let's make this thing even more nasty. Who has the nastiest veneur spreader out there? That's got to be a competition.
because a lot of manure spreaders out there are seriously neglected. And let's just say, who wants to uh, pressure wash a manure spreader that you just use to uh, uh, spread some sloppy, nasty looking manure that is uh, hot, steamy, smells like you know what, smells straight like poo, he wants to pressure wash that off all the time. So a lot of times these things become rust buckets. They're probably about the rustiest things on most people's farm. Use this old field boss to uh, load some manure. Start knocking out these piles I ended up pushing outside our pen here. What are you doing? Get off of that, stupid mama. This off here. Go off load. Yep, gonna take many, many buckets to get this big pile done. That's actually a pretty big uh, manure spreader. Don't know exactly how many ton it is got a full load here I kind of decided I guess I'm gonna take this to my wife's uh, garden that's a lot of poop we better have plenty of tomatoes this year or next year but thank you all for watching and I will see you next time over here being Millennials This spread manure. Oh, oh, I guess we're kind of close to the house here. Oh, oh, I don't think my wife's gonna like that. Oh, I guarantee she's not gonna like that. At least the tomato's gonna be uh, fertilized. <laughs>